Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an oscilloscope probe that you can use with an Android device to make a very cheap oscilloscope. So what you're going to need for this is a couple of resistors. And the resistors that you want need to be a 1 to 10 ratio. So you pick one resistor and then find another resistor that is 10 times as big, or 10 times the resistance of the first resistor. Um, you may also need some perf board. I think I'm going to try to do it without perf board. Um, you will also need an old pair of headphones, but you will need one that has the four contacts on it. This is called a TRRS connector. And that stands for tip, ring, ring, sleeve. Because the part we're going to use is the sleeve and the last ring. On an Android device, these are used, and even an iPhone, but for the Android device, these are used for the microphone. You've got a ground and a mic input. Now this is an old pair of headphones that one of the headphones broke. So I'm just going to cut these off here. Um, you'll also need some additional stranded wire. Um, I just have some black here. Uh, but to keep these separate, I do have some alligator clips. One with a red cover, one with a black cover. So that's important. You can use red wire or black wire, just some way to keep it separate. Um, you probably need a multimeter just to find the resistance of your, val your the value of your resistors. And you also need a solder iron. So, this is a basic circuit diagram. So, from our 3.5 millimeter jack, we're going to have the sleeve, which is ground, and the ring, which will be your, your signal. Um, you can see it comes through, and I've got one resistor that crosses over to the other wire, and then a resistor in line with that. And these are just both going to go to the alligator clips. Now, the two resistors that I chose, resistor 1 is 1.5 K ohms, and resistor 2 is 15.8 K ohms. So you can see they're roughly a 1 to 10 ratio. So basically I'm just going to work this up, solder these components together. And to start off with, I'm just going to twist my resistors together here. So basically this is going to be like this. So I've got resistor 1 here, resistor 2 comes here, and then I'll bring a wire to here, connect a feed wire out to my alligator clamp, and then for my ring, I'll connect it here. I've got my resistor here, and then I'll attach a wire here, and then I'll get everything heat shrinked, um, wrapped up, just to make sure I don't have any shorts between these resistors, and we'll go from there. Now if you've never cut into a headphone jack, the wires inside are very tiny. They also have a coating on them that will not accept solder. So there's a couple ways you can get that off. Um, one technique is to use a cigarette lighter and just burn the wire and it will burn the coating off. Um, you can also physically remove the coating by using some sandpaper, um, but there's, not, there's no insulation that you can really strip off. All right, so I got it all soldered up. Um, this side here is the headphone jack side. And I come down and remember my copper was my ring. And so I've got my copper attached in to the back where both of the resistors are tied together. So that would indicate this junction right here. So from my ring comes down to where this resistor meets. And then my blue, which comes from my sleeve, connects at the other end of this resistor, which is here. And then that goes to my ground. From this resistor goes to my red. And so I've got some heat shrink tubing. I'm going to slide over this resistor and that connection just to insulate those two. And then I've got a larger piece that's going to slide over the whole works and encase everything. So I'm going to shrink these real quick. Now the whole point of building this was I'm working on this Mitsubishi Galant and I'm having some issues with the transmission and part of the test procedure outlined by the factory service manual is to use an oscilloscope to look at a waveform of the input shaft speed sensor on the transmission. Uh, keep in mind that this 1 to 10 ratio um, with a 5 volt signal on these wires, which is what I'll be measuring, 
my output to here will be basically a tenth of that, so half a volt, which is good. The Android devices, the, the microphone input, I think about the max input, the max voltage it can take is right around three volts. So something to keep in mind if you're trying to measure, you know, voltage that's 200 volts, you may have to do um, a larger ratio or smaller ratio. I get confused on those, but you have to do a different ratio than one to ten. So um, I will post a link to, um, I believe it's SparkFun, maybe that has a voltage divider calculator. Um, otherwise, you can just Google voltage divider calculator and go that route. So, all right, guys. So I built the oscilloscope probe. I've got it hooked to two pins, back probed into an input speed sensor on this transmission. Um, I've got it plugged in to the tablet here. And I don't know, you're probably not going to be able to see that. Probably. I'll try to get some close-up shots once it's going. But to test this input speed sensor, uh, you've got to run the transmission at 30 miles an hour. So you can see, um, I've got the car up on jack stands. I've got the rear wheels blocked. Um, I did have to pull the ABS fuse out just so it would disable the traction control. Um, i got a scan tool set up up here just so I can verify what my speed is. And... Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm just looking for a certain waveform from this speed sensor, and we'll go from there. So I'm running about six miles an hour right now, um, and you can see the wheel's definitely turning. I'm going to try to keep my foot out of that. And now I do have a waveform. Pull this off here. I do have a waveform here. Can I focus? So you can hit stop on this app and it'll stop it where it's at. And then you can zoom in and out. Do longer time frames, shorter time frames. And so this is basically the, uh, the waveform that, no way volume, this is basically the waveform that I'm supposed to be looking for, more or less. So I'm going to say that speed sensor is good. So guys, if you need an oscilloscope for some simple testing process like this, this works great. Um, the resistors are fairly cheap if you don't already have them. Uh, if you scavenge parts off of an old TV, break the circuit board out of it or something, unsolder some resistors, you can get some free stuff that way. Um, and it's not the most accurate. There is some noise in the line, but it got me close enough. I, all of those voltages were, um, the waveform was right about half a volt, which is where I expected it to be. The sensor is supposed to put out between 0.8 and 4.8 volts. Um, when I take a tenth of that, I was right in that range. So this was a, a pretty quick thing to build. I had everything on hand, and it got me to the next testing procedure. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. I have seen some other plans for these, building a big fancy, um, using a big rotary switch, doing different resistance values, so you can dial it in for uh, various voltage ranges. You know, if you're testing 2 volts all the way up to like 200 volts, it just uses a different set of resistors. So that's something you may want to look up. But give me a thumbs up, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.